Okay, thanks for tuning in. This is Steve from BNA Photo, and I'm here with Craig Yanagi from JVC, and we're talking about the new JVC GYLS 300. That's Get Your Large Sensor. Craig, Super 35 sensor, MFT mount. It seems like a camera we've been waiting for since last year. Yes, definitely, and we've gotten a lot of calls from this, getting a lot of feedback from the customer base asking for a true professional video camera that has a large sensor and this one has a true super 35 image sensor built in and when we're talking professional of course XLR audio inputs yeah uh, with phantom power built-in three position ND filters and we have dual SD cards for redundancy and, and these are U3. We need U3 cards to record 4K, correct? We need U3 cards to record 4K, to record high definition, 50 megabits, 422, and it'll also record standard definition if you need that as well. And when we're in 4K, we're talking UHD, and our frame rates are what? Frame rates are 24, 25, 30p. That's cool. And the MFT mount provides a wide range of usable lenses. Absolutely, it's probably the truest ubiquitous mount on the marketplace today. So I can go directly with Lumix lenses or Olympics lenses? Olympus lenses, yes, with power zoom. If you have a power zoom lens, you'll be able to control the, the zoom with the rocker switch on both the handle. Or with adapters, I can use Canon EF, you can use PL Canon mount. EF, PL, and Nikon. And Nikon, so really this, this camera works with just about every lens out there. Exactly. It's beautiful, but what's even more special, you were telling me about the variable scan mapping. That's right. So with this camera, when you put on a lens, right now it's set to 100% for super 35 millimeter. We can actually taper down So if you have a lens way, that's not quite super 35. You can adjust for it. But I, I don't have only two choices you know, a, a one in, wi in a smaller window, I can incrementally. Yes, so I can get in 3% increment, you can bring it down. That's really very exciting. And so those of us who have a lot of old glass, 16 millimeter glass, we can still use this on this camera. That's correct. That sounds like, I don't want to say a one tool fits all camera because obviously it's very complex, but it seems like something that's going to be very useful to a lot of people. It's easy, it's fast. The files are editable on Premiere, on Final Cut. It's, it's, it's really a total package. Craig, it really looks exciting, and thank you for sharing it with us. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, and thanks for watching.